Now, covering Duval County, people on Jacksonville's east side want to make sure their voices are heard as the city decides what to do with millions of dollars originally earmarked for their community. We're talking about the $94 million removed from the Jaguar Stadium deal earlier this year. News for Jack's reporter at Brianna Andrews is live. And Brianna, people on the east side say this money is long overdue. At least half a dozen people spoke at last night's city council meeting, and all of them say they're in favor of spending money to improve the east side. Let's make history. Let's pass the CBA. You know, help us transform our neighborhood into a community. One of our great scholars once said that a neighborhood is like a bucket with a hole in it. A neighborhood is just where you eat and sleep. A community, though, is where you store your valuables. This is an incredible opportunity, as has been said, um, to invest in something that's transformational and fiscally responsible. And in fact, as has been shared, saves the city money. The investment on the homelessness, it's proven that it saves money. The investment in the east side will generate taxes. You know, I ask that we please continue to do this work together, that we pass in full, in all parts, all of the rest of the community benefits agreement, including the tax increment financing district, $94 million was set aside to be sorted out. Well, the city council approved the stadium deal back in June 1st, including part of the community benefits agreement. That's when the $94 million was set aside to be sorted out later. At that time, there was a concern about conflicts of interest. Some council members work with groups that could potentially benefit from this money. The current plan would spend $30 million over three years on approving, on improving the east side, that is. A special city council committee will give a recommendation on how to split up the funds by the end of this month. Reporting live, Brianna Andrews, Channel 4, the local station.